For this question, we need to identify the homologous series and the general formula. So for the homologous series, what we can realize is that this one has a halogen, okay? So this would be a halo alkane. So for the homologous, this one is a halo alkane. Um, some people say, oh no, let me not mention other names. I don't want to cause any confusion. So that's, a, that's the homologous. And then for the general formula, general formula. Uh, you can memorize this or you can try figure it out. I like to try figure it out or I prefer when students do it like that because trying to memorize all the different general formulas, I mean, it's not that bad, but when you're in an exam, it can maybe, if you, if you, if you go blank or um, you're having like a complete meltdown or like a panic attack, it's not nice to have to remember stuff, okay? So um, let's see, there are three carbons, so we can try to work this out together. So there are three carbons, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's double the hydrogens plus one. So we can say, um, sorry, let me just first say that, and then there's a Cl. So if we want to work out the general formula, we could say N over here, and then you could say the hydrogens will be double that, and then plus one, because that's how you would get to seven. And then there would be some type of halo alkane. Now it could be Cl, it could be Br for bromine, I for iodine, F for fluorine. So what you've maybe seen in previous lessons with your teacher, your textbook, is that we're not gonna put Cl over here, we're rather gonna put X. Now that X represents any halo alkane that they've wanted to use. Okay, so for the general formula, that is what we will say, 2n plus 1, and then x.